armor has to be as light as possible and as flexible as possible and as solid, on the other hand, in order to be full protection. So therefore, uh, it has to be flexible, it has to be easily put on, and in fact, if I weren't talking that much, I could, or if I could, could please, uh, if I could put on my suit of armor in, I'd say, less than 10 minutes. And so you have to be in proper motion all the time. If you stand still, you're dead. You're getting, well, the trick in harness fighting is, well, make use of that harness. There is no point in standing in a longsword guard like from Tark. It's of no use to strike to the opponent. He would smile at you and say, yeah, you hit me, you hit my armor, so no damage done. The trick is to shatter your opponent. You want to give an impulse to him to make him stumble. You wear, well, I wear my armor weighs approximately 29.5 kilograms, so I am a bit heavier than my usual self. And the most of that, yeah, next please, the most of that uh, goes to the upper body. So I become a bit top heavy, and therefore um, I'm easier to, um, well, I, I can be easier made to go to the ground. And once I am on the ground, thank you. And once I am on the ground, it is well, more, but it's easier for uh, my opponent to, well, to grab his dagger and finish me off. And therefore, I should avoid that. And well, since putting on armor and moving in armor shouldn't restrict you very much, it does. Nevertheless, of course, you see, it is, um, it is, and it comes a bit cumbersome. It is heavy and it strains. It strains your body. It strains your stamina, and therefore you have to move. But you, you have to be able to move, but you want to move as little as possible. So, but I have to be able to bend down quickly, and you see how flexible the foot is, and that is well the most essential thing. that there are hardly any of the known openings. You have four openings in regular Bloßfechten, the two upper openings and the two lower ones. It is almost clear that attacking the upper opening here is kind of pointless, unintended, and um, so you have to go for other openings. And as you can see, a huge opening is here. And this is one, uh, well, one, uh, one opening you want to go for. And, um, other openings, as you will soon see, are under the arms. influenced uh, suit of armor. So as you can see, there are a couple of openings now which you can clearly spot under the arms. Therefore, I have these uh, basicues, as they are called, they protect the armpit when I raise my arms. And um, so there is another vulnerable spot in the hand, which is its only leather here. Okay, just put it on and don't, don't, don't close, don't close the strap. Okay, now, if I close my bevers, if I close my visor, <laughs> that is like I said. And now I would come to you in order to, to conquer you, and if you would feel good. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are, fully armed. Thank you. Well, some of us are. And then what do I do if I have no clothes? no chance in hitting with a, with a cut my opponent because he's covered completely in steel. I have to make good use of the aforementioned openings and I just can thrust at these openings. It is quite difficult to, to, to thrust like that because you can easily sit aside that with a single hand. Or just use your hand. Or come with me, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. I, don't, I don't care. I have, I have very sturdy gloves. I don't care. If you come, I don't care. I can take that. I have a suit of armor on, and um, therefore I have to exploit those um, those openings in a better, more appropriate way. 
and I stab. And when I stab a cloud helm, I can easily be deflected, and therefore I can give more stability with gripping it. Well, arm in, in the armored hand, give up with the hand, as it says in the German sources, or hard sword, or shortened sword, shortened because I shortened the reach of the sword, and then I have much more power, and you can't possibly deflect that with a single hand. And I go to the, for the opening, and I virtually use that as some kind of very short spear. We're starting with um, the, the essentials. The essentials is there are guards. There is a low guard, like this, and from this low guard, you can easily go for, for instance, for the face, or if he goes uh, stands like that, for the armpit, and uh, or for the groin, and well, that's almost it. If he stands like that, I can poke his open hand. So what I want to do is to go forward in the streetest line imaginable, the same as with those faces. I don't make any circular movements, I just go quickly to the next target, and well, swiftly. And so there are two alternatives we want to uh, play with today. And um, so we have just from the outside of the opponent, this is his outer side, or to the inner side. The inside is always where the belly is. Okay, and uh, the other guard is the high guard. So from here I can, well, do virtually the same thing. Uh, it is a bit more stressful to hold. There is a third guard over the knee, which is uh, good for people doing more shielding in order to counter that or just to rest for a while. There is a fourth guard we shall look into too. That one. If you have, if you have actually managed to uh, get him here, yeah, so what? You may, may fit him here. Perhaps he has some kind of male gussets like Daniel has. Mm -hmm. I don't have, so with me it would have been over. But Daniel, I need to do something. And harness fighting in this manuscript is traditional duels. So you have a circle. And uh, there are a number of manuscripts where it says, well, take a leaf out of the ring, the circle, uh, as you like. And as soon as you have driven him out of the circle, well, you're the victor. And so, if I have hit him here, I have to, well, I have to pull him or push him out of the ring. And I can do that fast. And when, well, I, I behave as if this were a knife. And I felt it under my arm. And this is very practical for me because this particular sword has a little indentation here. It fits perfectly on the middle rim of, uh, of the target. And now I can just push him on the arm and bloody ring. 